front here late, but that you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. And now out comes Houston. One possession game, <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Jones. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. They got exactly what they wanted there. Out route, catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock. And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them inbounds and have the clock run. So I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll make the tackle. An out route? That, that's not the way you're supposed to play it. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Back to throw. And Jones has it over the middle. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. They'll look to throw. And is it a touchdown? No signal. No, they say incomplete. And no, they can't connect on the pass. So that gets the clock down to 11. Time for probably two more plays. Got to go quickly, though. Now it's Stanford. And oh, not only did he drop it, he dropped it in the end zone. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. And a great game comes down to this. Time for one play, and they've got to get it in the end zone. And I want every cover guy I've got in the game on defense, every extra defensive back who can make a play on the football. So whether it's nickel, dime, quarter, whatever you want to call it, I want five, six, seven guys back there. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. So this defense, they looked a little shaky to start the drive, but bottom line, they're a play away from finishing it off. They rocked them a little bit on this drive, didn't they? But as you and I both know, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. They have a chance to end it right here. One last throw here for Stanford. And this is going to be caught. It's caught, and they've won the football game. Brandon, you know I love boxing, right? You know I love big fights, right? <laughs> I'd given them the standing eight count a few times along the way. <laughs> and look at how this one ended. Yeah, they had, well, I guess nine lives just like a cat <laughs> kept fighting. And there in the end, making the huge play to get the game winner. I guess that's the epitome of you always have a puncher's chance. Well, as always, partner, an extreme pleasure to share a booth with you. I I, I have to say, I am impressed at your discipline because you came here and you said you were not going to eat any of the media buffets. <laughs>